give the uh, your attention, please. Thank you. Oh, 
forgive me my sins. Behold all my grief. Yes, I shall arise. I return to my Father. My heart and soul shine for your face. Be gracious to me and answer my plea. Yes, I shall arise and return to my father. Dear friends, we 
gather here to commend our brother, Sir Francis Ibili, to God our Father and to commit his body to the earth. In the spirit of faith, in the resurrection of Christ Jesus from the dead, let us offer our prayers for our brother Francis Ibili. Come to me, you who are blessed by my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And so made a grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother, husband, father, friend, and colleague, Francis Ibili may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face and in your light we see light and know the splendor of God for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and ever living God, in you we place our trust and hope, and in you the dead whose bodies we are temples of the Spirit find everlasting peace. As we will take leave of our brother, give our hearts peace in the firm hope that one day Francis Ibili will live in the mansion you have prepared for him in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Saints, saints of God, come to his, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it is our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day may we, we shall joyfully greet him again. When the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord, receive his soul, and, so, and present him to, to his God, to the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself, May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let a perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and grant it to the 
most high. Let us pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Francis Ibili in the sure and the certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon your son, Francis Ibili, in this life. They are signs of, to us of your goodness and of your fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother Francis forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray over the people. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope. In your lasting goodness, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners. And, uh, may the soul of Sir Francis Billy and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, may he rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto him, and let your perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless and protect you and guide you, strengthen you, and lead you back safely home in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah.
Francis Ibili, and to show your love for the family. I thank the priests that officiated both here Andy. Maybe they borrowed that. Now, I thank the worldwide audience. I thank those who sang for us in the church and here at the cemetery. The family is eternally grateful for all, for all your love and support. The family will continue to need your prayers and support. Thank you for everything you've done to support this family. Thank you for all you did to support the Ibuza family. Thank you for all you did to support the Anioma community. 
thank you for all you did to support the entire Nigerian community to, and to offer your emotional support, financial support, and everything you've done. So on behalf of the community, or the committee rather, that worked together collaboratively to make sure that things are planned and executed. And above all, we give thanks to God for giving us such a perfect day for this. At this point, the cemetery officials and the funeral home would like us to now exit so that they can do their thing, right? So um, we like to, you know, for the crowd to um, disperse first, right? The family will take their time to exit. But please start to, you know, go back to your cars and to drive off so that we can uh, really begin to no, the, the, the cemetery officials will lower and do things the way they are doing it and the funeral home. So at this point, they request that we all exit. The family can take their time to exit. So please, we crave your indulgence. We crave your support. Above all, we crave your cooperation to this, uh, just go back and we thank you for everything you did. Please. On behalf of the family, I'd like to thank you all for being here.